Alright, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It is your boy Q. I'm back again with another video for you guys. Before we get started, you already know the deal. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. That's my most active social media. So if you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing, that is definitely where you should go. Also, make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10K ASAP because I got something real special planned for you guys. It's going to be a big release. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe, tell a friend, tell someone that maybe wants to start producing or something like that. And then as always, if you guys want to support the channel or help me out in any way, if you go to quintinbaba.com, I have a bunch of kits over there. I have a new multi kit that I just dropped, which includes a drum kit, a loop kit, and a one shot kit, and a bunch more special stuff just sprinkled up in between and yeah if you purchase anything on the website it just really helps support me and encourages me to make more videos for you guys and also the kits are just fire so it'll help you out a lot too there's also vocal kits on there if you guys like mixing vocals or if you want to try and be an artist you can actually definitely do that really easily with my uh, new vocal preset that i just dropped volume one it's available on my website but without any further ado let's get into today's video and you already clicked on the title so you know what this is but today i'm going to be showing you guys how i would make a beat for little baby and polo g so something kind of like dark emotional and like a piano bass to it all right so let's hop into fl as you can see i already pretty much have the melody done um, i have the bpm set to 152 and in this case we're working in the scale of c sharp minor and the way you work in scales in fl studio is you go to view yeah, highlighting and you could set your root note and then i always just use minor natural but you could do minor harmonic minor pentatonic uh, minor melodic or major scale or any of the other scales if you want just depending on what your mood is so at first sight this might look a bit complicated but it's really not that complicated at all all we have here is a few triads we have a c minor triad right here an e minor triad so this is a b minor and then an a minor and all i did was bring the root note and the fifth of each chord down an octave so you have the root note right here c sharp and that's brought down an octave and then the fifth note is brought down an octave as well and i just did that for each and every chord and then we just have this top melody that i played on top which is also pretty simple and all i did was um play that out for four bars we're actually gonna have this play out for eight and then uh, i'll play this and let you guys listen to it So yeah, it's nothing too complicated as of right now. We're keeping it pretty simple for the piano bass. We're just going to route this to a mixer track. And the next thing we're going to do here is just go into our one shot kit. And we're going to try and find a bell that could kind of add a little of an atmosphere to it. So when you use one shots, I usually just, you just drag it into the channel rack, go to the envelope settings. And I just usually make it like this. Everything except for the hold all the way up and the release at the default position and basically what i'm going to do here is just control c control v actually what we're going to do is just because the notes are all carried out what we can do is literally just bring the release all the way down and i'm going to sell this out just to get an idea for what we're hearing So I actually like how this sound, and I, I've also brought the BPM down to 149. What we're going to do is just solo. I brought the bell to mix track two. We're going to solo that out, and I'm just going to EQ it a bit. I'm going to add a Valhalla reverb right here. Use the vintage verb. So now I'm just going to kind of look for like some kind of cool lead we could add. So I'm going to go under my synths in my one shot kit. Thank you. 
right, so what I had right there was just a synth and a xylophone from a one-shot kit. So now we're just going to bring these to the mixer track and just mix them in a little bit better. All right, so that's pretty much it for the melody. So we listen to it real quick. And then the last thing we're going to add is just a bass. And then we'll move on to the drums. Then I'll just be grabbing a bass from my one shot kit. I like this one called Doubled. Kind of has like that guitar feel to it. We're going to go to Cut Itself. And then we're going to go to the envelope settings. Pretty much make it a square. And then I'm also going to normalize it over here. And just click Normalize. And we're going to go to the Piano Roll. All we have to do is copy these bass notes and I'm just going to place them in like this. And then hit control L, delete this last one, duplicate it over, we'll bring this up an octave. And all right, cool. So now what I did is I just muted a bunch of the sounds and we're going to start on the drums. So I'm going to be using my drum kit, which is part of the multi kit full circle, which you guys already know is available at quintababa.com slash full circle. But if you just want the drum kit, you could also just grab that. And that's just called euphoria also available at quintababa.com. So I'm going to start with a clap here. Start with this one. and I'm just going to apply the default MIDI pattern and then we're going to go straight to a hi hat. We use this one called clips. And for now, I'm just going to fill two steps. Try a different hi-hat. I like this one a lot better. We're just going to add some rolls. The cool thing you could do with your hi-hats is if you go into the control section under here, go to find pitch, you could automate, automate the uh, fine pitch of it. So it'll sound like this. I'm also just automating the velocity and the pitch by right clicking the highlighted notes and just dragging that does this little like crescendo thing. We're also going to go to the fine pitch and just bring this like this. It's a pretty cool little effect. <laughs> So yeah, I like that for now. We might try and add some lower notes real quick. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. So now we're just going to duplicate that over for the next four bars. Cool. And then let's move on to a snare. So we'll do that real quick. Go back to my kit over to the snares folder. Use this snare called Chase and this one called Create. Keep that super simple like that. We're going to go to the piano roll and I'm going to duplicate this over by hitting Control B. And I hit K on my keyboard to go to the next sound and duplicate that over as well. And then let's just add a super simple open at. I just add something on the one and the three and then I duplicate that over for eight bars. And the next up, we're just gonna do an 808. Um, I think I'm gonna have an 808 switch in this one. What we're gonna do is start out with a spins and then move on to like more of a Zay 808. I'm gonna start with this 808 called Spin Cycle. I'm gonna bring this in and turn that up all the way. And for now, we're just gonna do Cut Itself. Then we're gonna go to Piano Roll. And we already know the, and we already know the key of the song and we know the key, we know the notes go uh, C sharp to E back down to B, then to A. And we'll just bring that up. And one thing I'm actually gonna do is, so the melody is not messing with the 808. Uh, all of the melody to this melody bus I have, and you do this by selecting them all, and then click route to this track only. I already have an EQ on there, and I'm just gonna pull out some of that low end. All right, so this 808 is just a little too loud, so we're gonna turn that down. We're gonna go back to the piano roll.
Cool, and then what I'm gonna do here is keep this 808 pattern super simple. I hit Control L to make the notes touch. And then we're just duplicating that over. And then what I'm gonna do here is go into the envelope settings and set it to a square. And then we're gonna go back into here and I'm gonna have this 808, this first 808 hit stop right at the clap. And then this second one stop right there. So this one at the clap and then this one at the half. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm actually gonna EQ out some of the high end in that piano. All right, and then um, I'm keeping the 808 a little bit more quiet just so we can add a kick on top. I'm just going to try a few 808s or a few kicks that might fit well with this 808. So we'll try this one first. That one actually sounds pretty good already. And we can even turn it up a little bit more. Cool, and then we'll just hit uh, Control L on the keyboard, delete this kick, and then duplicate that over. Now we're pretty much set. So now what I'm going to do is mute the kick in the 808, and then I'm going to clone this 808, and I'm just going to replace it with this more of a Zay 808. I'm going to copy this pattern over. I'm going into the piano roll, and I don't want the 808 to stop right here with this one, with this Zay 808. So we're going to hit Control L for legato, just to make sure the notes touch. And let's see how this sounds. All right, so I mean, that's pretty much it right there. So now what I'm going to do is just actually unmute everything here. And then we're going to go into the playlist, split by channel, and drag every sound out here. Just make sure they're all eight bars long. Duplicate this over a bunch of times. We're going to go to the start here. And we're just going to take out all the drums at first. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take out the bell, synth, and start it like this and then for the first drop we're gonna have uh the kick in the 808 come in but i'm gonna take out the kick at first and then for the second part of the drop the kick will come back in Also gonna route the rest of the drums to the mixer track here and we're just gonna hit control shift l that'll route it automatically and then i'm gonna go to this hi-hat preset that i actually have in my drum kit this adds a little bit more of a bounce to it and then for the transition we're just gonna take the hi-hat out and then for the next drop we will have only the piano and uh, the little bell that we have, and then we're going to take that spins 808 out and have it go to the Zay. So here's what that sounds like. And for the second part of the Zay, what we're going to do is literally just have only the piano. All right, guys, so that is the whole video. That's the whole beat. I hope you guys did learn something. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Maybe tell someone else about this video. Like I said, we're trying to hit 10K as soon as possible. So let's make that happen. For the most part, all the sounds, most of the sounds that I used, all the drums and the one shots are from my new multi kit that I just dropped. Full circle available at quintababa.com slash full circle. Yeah, like I said, that is all I got for you guys for right now. Stay tuned and be ready for the next video. But I will see you guys then. So peace out.